Republican there, leadership has already already said that they want to do something, they and that doing do something, something makes is where we run into a problem because then that's when you end up compromising and we get a bad so bill. You, so you don't want any immigration reform then? No, I want immigration okay, reform. I don't want amnesty for 20 million illegal aliens here. But, <laughs> but I would imagine that there are a lot of people on Capitol Hill that are Republicans that agree with you that are going to be the ones that are in conference. I don't think the debate here is whether or not something nefarious is going to happen in Congress. I don't I think know it's about what's that. What's the material that's going to come on the outside okay. of it? And the reality is, is that good immigration reform is going what to is be good. What is good immigration reform? It is allowing the people that are here right now mm -hmm. that are contributing to the economy to, mm -hmm. and to, to stay here. Because and, if we force them to go if, back, that is terrible for your U.S. economy. If you want to give a moral argument, mean, if you want a moral, a moral argument, argument. The, the moral argument is that they're criminals. It's illegal. So they go, right. yeah, it's that's, illegal. That, that, that's a moral argument. My point is, you try to send back 12 million people, and you no, try to tell them. No, it's not about mass deportation. Is, is, yes, they're not talking that's, about that. They're yep. talking about what about interior so that you're terrible you're for the saying, U.S. economy. You're saying, you're saying, let's just legalize. Let's just go ahead and find a way to amnesty to legalize 11 million illegal immigrants, but yet interior enforcement is nil. We're not doing the checks we need at the border. Our border is full of holes. Our border patrol agents aren't able to do their jobs. Sure. Our ICE agents' hands are tied. Look, and the administration yeah. is just going to legalize everyone. And what's going to happen 10 years look, from now border, when another border, 11 border million border show up? Border security is important. But it is also important that we not gut the U.S. economy by sending nobody's 11 million gonna people do, back. No, but nobody's nobody's going to gut the U.S. Economy. Deportation, and nobody's talking about mass what deportation. What about all the people in this country that don't have then jobs? Do keep, then why do you keep talking about them being here illegally? Because if, if, that's the thing. It's like, they're here Illegally, they broke a law. So what do you want so to have happen to them? them. You, you don't reward them. You don't reward them. You make it more difficult for more people to come here. You make it difficult. Yeah, you shouldn't but be are you gonna, giving are them incentives to come wanna, here. Do you want to? You want me to seriously believe, Anthony, that our entire it. U.S. economy is going to fall apart because we send people back home? Criminal. Why, 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 what is the argument against Obamacare? That it is forcing businesses to take on costs and that it is causing a decrease in output because we have fewer workers that are able to work full time. That is bad. We want if, if that hurts, workers. if Obamacare is going to hurt the economy. We have having to, no, we let's bring in our back. companies accountable That's right. for bringing people into this country and making them slaves for us instead of paying the American <laughs> worker what they need. That's so what right. you're so saying we, is Americans aren't going to do those jobs? That's right. So we bring in, we bring in, uh, you, infuse you, this with do more. You, do you guys think that we should send 11 million workers back overseas? So I just it's say not, one thing? Go ahead, Bob. This has been highly entertaining. I really enjoyed this. As a viewer, I really like this.